We would like to now start the 43rd annual piano recital presented by the lovely students of Ms. Sayuri Shibata. But before we start, let me introduce to you today our guest teacher. Some of you may already remember him, but he is Mr. Shota Matsumoto. was sensei student and now you he teaches at oh, well, um, I, as an adjunct at USC and as a private student. Yeah, well, you, one day you may be teaching at USC. Can I come and learn from you? <laughs> I can't believe it. So that's okay.
before he plays the next song, there's something that I want to talk about the song he's going to be playing. 2010年3月11日東北地区に 9.2 カンの洋語作曲で花は咲くという歌ができました。この歌はみんなを励ますためにそしてこれから先の忘れないように作られた歌です。March 11, 2011, a 9.2 magnitude earthquake hit the Tohoku area. The most powerful earthquake ever recorded in Japan and the fourth largest in the world. The earthquake triggered powerful tsunami waves that reached heights of up to 133 feet. This earthquake is referred to the Higashi Nihon Dai Shinsai, or as the 3.11 earthquakes, which took approximately over 15,000 precious lives and injured over 6,000 and 2,500 people missing across the 20 prefectures. Kano Yoko wrote the music and Iwai Shunji wrote the lyrics. They both have strong ties to the region affected by the disaster. And the song was made to give hope to those who are still here. I will just give you a list, just a gist of the lyrics. I can't do the whole thing. But basically, the song is saying, flowers will bud and bloom again for you who will come into the world someday. Flowers will bud and bloom again. Have I done good to stay in your heart? Flowers will bud and bloom again for you who will come to the world someday. Flowers will bud and bloom again for you who will be in love with someone someday. Shota Kinoshita will now prefer the piano.
がとうございました、えー、これで全てのプログラムを終わらせていただきます、うん